Hi everyone, Home Service Pro here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to change out an old style thermostat to a new digital thermostat. This is a two wire system on a boiler, so you've gotta have a battery powered thermostat in order to make that work. Let's get started. So here's the thermostat we're gonna be changing out. This is an old Honeywell T87F thermostat. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the first cover off. And as you can see, the old style thermostats are actually, they work off of a spring and a mercury powered switch. So the first thing you're gonna do is remove the old thermostat. On this one, you got a screw right here, and a screw right here, and a screw right here. There's three screws all together that we just gotta loosen up. And then the whole face of this will pop right off. And then one more. And the whole face of the thermostat pulls right off from there. Set this aside. So this thermostat has only two wires coming to it. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the two wires. Sometimes it's easier just to remove the screws all together and then the wires come right loose. There we go. Okay, then we have this screw and this screw, which is holding this base to the wall. So we gotta pull those two screws to pull the base off from the wall. Okay, so now that the old thermostat is off the wall, we're gonna go ahead and mount the new thermostat or unbox the new thermostat first here. So we're gonna be using a Honeywell T1 Pro thermostat, non-programmable. This has the option of being able to do one stage heat and one stage cool. All we're gonna be doing is a single stage of heat and we'll go ahead and program that after we get the batteries and stuff in it. So when we first open it up, You have the thermostat itself. You do have a base plate that we're gonna put on the wall. And then it comes with the set of batteries that we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the batteries and everything all opened up and I'll be right back. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is your base plate. You can see right here, it says on the, it's marked, it says up. Make sure that that side is facing up you're gonna put the over top of the two wires and go ahead and get that. Right now, we don't have to get it perfectly level. We just wanna get it somewhat close. We're gonna go ahead and get some screws started. All right, so now we have the, the base mounted. The next step, give that just a little more. There we go, give this one one more turn. Okay, so the next piece that you're gonna need is the wire connectors. So this here, you're gonna open this door up and your two wires are gonna come right through that window. These two little notches here will go over top of there, just like that. And then you simply push it back. Actually, you hook the top, then snap the bottoms in. There we go. And then now that's all mounted. 
So because we only have a two wire system, the only two wires that we need is red and white. So on the thermostat, you can see it has R and W. These are the only two terminals that we're gonna use. We'll put the red wire on the R and the white wire on the W. With this dial, you literally just line it up with the hole, give it a push, and it locks right in there. Then we're gonna take these wires and just tuck them up inside here and just close the door. That part's done. The next step is to get the batteries put into the new thermostat. Okay, so this is the new thermostat that we're installing. If you spin it around, you can see that there's a spot for two AA batteries. We're gonna go ahead and put the AA batteries into it. We'll turn it back around. And when this display lights up, it's gonna let us go ahead and program the thermostat. All right, so you can look on that display and you can see that it has a 125 and a zero on there. So we're gonna get the manual out and we're gonna look here and you can see 125 and if you follow that across, if it has a zero on the screen, that means it's programmed to uh, Fahrenheit. If it has a one on it, it's Celsius. We want it to be in Fahrenheit, so we're all set. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. So now there's a 200 there. We're gonna come down here to 200 and we're gonna follow this across. It's wanting to know what kind of heat. We're not forced air, we're not a heat pump. We are radiant heat. So we're gonna go ahead and change that to a three. We're gonna hit edit until three shows up and then hit next. 205, it wants to know what kind of equipment we're operating. And if you notice, when we went to radiant heat, it automatically pulled up a nine. If we scroll straight down to nine, hot water radiant heat. And that's what we are because we're a boiler. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. Okay, 220, we're gonna flip this around. So 220, it wants to know how many stages of cooling. Well, we're a boiler, so we have no cooling. And if you follow the directions here, if it's a zero, that means there's no. So we're gonna edit that and change it to a zero. Now there's no stages of cooling because, well, we're not doing cooling, it's a boiler. So now we're gonna hit next. Now 221, how many stages of heat? Well, we only have one stage of heat. This is only a single stage boiler. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. Now we're gonna go to 431. 431 wants to know the maximum heat temperature. Well, we're gonna go ahead and leave it right at 90 because nobody's gonna want anything more than 90. Hit next. Now 1420. Come down to 1420. So they wanna know, so this thermostat, if this thermostat doesn't read perfect, if it's say it's 70 degrees in the house and really the thermostat's saying it's 72, we can do what's called an offset. So we can change that temperature and make it match a regular thermometer that they have in the house. But we're not worried about that because these are usually pretty precise. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. And now when it starts doing this, that means that it's fully programmed and ready to go. So after we do that, get rid of this manual, all we're gonna do is line these pins up here with the holes on the side. And once we get it there, we literally just push it straight back onto the wall and that thermostat is mounted and ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit menu. Okay, then it's got mode. It automatically went to heat. We're gonna hit done. All right, so now the room temperature is 75. It's because I had it in my hand that it's reading so high, and we're set to 72. We're gonna go ahead and turn this down to 70 because that's where the customer wants it. It'll take a few minutes for that thermostat to reacclimate to the room temperature, but then that thermostat is ready to roll. Okay guys, we got that thermostat installed. It's a nice looking digital thermostat compared to the old analog thermostat that was on the wall, a lot more precise. Also, I wanted to mention with the old thermostat, you can see inside this vial here that it actually has mercury in it. You can't just throw these in the garbage. You gotta dispose of them properly. Take it to your local heating and cooling company. They'll know what to do with it or just take it to the Home Depot and they can get rid of it for you. So I will link another video on how to work on the boiler, putting a boiler pump in. Also, we, I have another video that will show you how to do a zone valve if you're having problems with zone valves. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. It helps us grow. 
Remember, have a great day and you got this. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks.